everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. Today's video is going to be all about the Kylie Cosmetics Coco Collection Face Palette. So she released this collection, um, I wanna say Wednesday of this past week. Today is Sunday, I got it yesterday. So I was super impressed with the turnaround time on this. Last time I ordered from Kylie Cosmetics, it took two weeks for the items to even ship out. So I was really happy that this got here so quickly. And because it got here so quickly, I wanted to just jump into it and film a video really quick to let you know what my first impressions were, what I thought of the overall palette and the quality and the colors and all of that good stuff. I have not used this at all. I have opened it to like swatch it and see, and so far I like what I see. But again, I haven't used it, so I don't know what it's actually like when I put the product on my face. As you can tell, I have my makeup done today, but I haven't done like my bronzer or blush or highlight or anything like that because I wanted to save it for this guy. So we're going to test it out and you'll see my first impressions, what I think, and I'll let you know my overall like review on it. So again, last time I ordered from Kylie Cosmetics was the day, I can't remember what day it was, but she was offering a two for one and it was like, if you buy one lip kit, you got one free. And so I took advantage of that and apparently so did the rest of the world because it took two weeks for those products to even ship. They ended up in including a free lip gloss because it took so long as like a little apology and that was nice but because of that I didn't have high hopes for when this would ship out luckily though I like I said I ordered on a Wednesday and I got it on a Saturday so I think that's pretty pretty impressive I'm happy it's here the packaging first and foremost is gorgeous she nails it with packaging especially with these like special collections like the holiday collection and the cocoa collection I love all of the white and silver and white and gold it's much more me than like all of the black and like a little more edgy styles so I am quick to pick up products like this when they come out I decided not to get the lipsticks included in this collection because I got them the first time that the Coco collection came around and I honestly have not used them very much since. So I'm trying to be a little more practical, but with this being her first face palette from this collection, I thought I had to take advantage of it and grab it. This palette is $40, which seems like a lot, but it does include a bronzer, a blush, and two highlights. So for 40 bucks, I think that's pretty good. It comes out to like $10 each. And if you're somebody who's already buying from Kylie Cosmetics, then you know that it's a pretty decent price for what she's putting out. So back to the packaging. The packaging is beautiful. It's this like copper, rose gold, and white color. On the front, it says Coco Collection by Kylie Cosmetics powder palette on the back it says Chloe like this it also included a little note with it that looks like this and it says Chloe on the front these are always meant to look like they are like handwriting them to you which I think is kind of cute and a good idea so on the back it's got a little note that is supposedly from Chloe I do really like the way this looks like just the white and gold I kind of wish this said Olivia and not Chloe because then I would frame it but anyway so you open it up and the palette itself is this really, again, pretty copper rose gold color. Can you tell I am a fan of this color? <laughs> it's got the color shade names on the back um, and also just like information on them a little bit. So when you open it, it has this big old mirror here, which I'm a super big fan of. The first eyeshadow palette that she released did not have a mirror and it was definitely an area of opportunity for her and she noticed it, so she's been adding them ever since, which I think is awesome. It just makes them better for travel and just better, easier to use overall. And it also has this little protectant layer that says Coco Collection here as well. So these are what the colors look like. They are really, really pretty in the pan. The blush and the bronzer both have like a very, very subtle shimmer to them. They kind of remind me of like a NARS blush, um, but not so shimmery, like not as shimmery as Orgasm or anything like that. But this one reminded me a little bit of NARS Laguna, just the overall look of it. Again, I have not used these yet. The colors from left to right, the blush is called Rodeo Drive. The lighter highlight here is called Troop Beverly Hills. This is 90210, this medium like bronzy highlight. And then the bronzer is called Hollywood Boulevard. They're really pretty colors again. And like, look how pigmented that highlighter is. Like the highlighters, especially when I swatch them, I'm pretty impressed. So I'm excited to use. Now let's get into testing. So I'm gonna start with the bronzer just because that's typically the first area on my face that I apply uh, after doing like my full face when I'm going into like contouring and bronzing and all of that stuff, I typically start with bronzer. So I'm going to do that first. I'm just gonna use a little bit on this like round contour brush. And I'm doing this very lightly because I don't know how the color will turn out. It is not very deep though, I will say. Like 
I guess you can see it in the camera much more than I feel like I can see it in person right now. It's not too bad. I like a very sharp contour too, just to let you know, so just be warned. It's not too bad. I will say this is darker than I typically use when it comes to bronzer, which you would think is interesting because looking on the camera, I feel like it's showing up very dark right now. But in person, it's not honestly much darker in my mind than the foundation I have on, so. I do like it though. I like that it's not as dark. I feel like it gives me more of like an actual bronze look rather than like a harsh contoured look. It looks a little more like summery and like natural bronze. Of course I'm adding more color because I have a bronzing addiction. Add a little to my nose. I'm not super precise when contouring my nose either, it's just FYI. I think this color is really great for adding that dimension on your forehead, as you can tell because I continue to put more up there. Um, but I feel like it just adds a really nice like, that really nice like bronzed shadowy look rather than like harshly contoured like I said. So I like it. I say I give the bronzer like an A, B plus, something like that. I like it. Again, it's not as dark. If you're looking for contouring, it may not give you like the darkness that you like, but I do really like just like the overall bronzing effect of it. I think it gives a really nice like summery bronze look. It's very natural, let's say that. Now let's go into the Z blush. The blush is also very natural. For being Kylie Cosmetics, I'm kind of surprised how natural these shades are. So that's after the blush. It's very, very subtle. Like I said, I'm kind of surprised how natural these are and like how subtle. And maybe that's because I kind of have a tan going on. Maybe on a paler complexion, they would show up a little bit more. Um, but I feel like this blush is not quite as pigmented as I was expecting. And I'm curious to see how it lasts throughout the day. And maybe it's one of those blushes that you just need to build up. Like as I'm putting more on, I feel like it's becoming more pigmented. And I may watch this back later and be like, holy moly, Olivia, tone down on the blush. But from my perspective, I feel like it's not super noticeable right now. Okay, that's kind of noticeable. <laughs> I'll just blend this together. Interesting, I like it. And now I'm gonna go for the highlighter. First I'm gonna use this like bronze shimmery one and then I'm gonna put the other one on the other cheek and compare. So I'm gonna use this one on this cheek. Wow. Yeah, the highlighter is Pretty on point. Okay, now let me try this one. This one's like Space Girl. It's funny, I don't typically go for like more subtle highlighters. Like usually I like the lighter like white highlighters, but looking at this side, I feel like the highlight is just a little more out there. And then this side is a little more natural. And I like that. I feel like this side the more bronzy one, I feel like blends a little bit better with my existing makeup. Whereas this one, I feel like looks a little bit more harsh. At least to me, like outside of the viewfinder, so. But look how pigmented that is. I really like the highlight. I have not used any of Kylie Cosmetics highlights before and I've heard they're really good, so I'm impressed, I'm happy. All right, so that is my full face with this palette. 
Um, again, I think the first thing that strikes me with it is that I'm really surprised by how natural everything looks. It's very subtle, especially the bronzer and the blush are really in particular, like very subtle and natural. Let's see how long they last. I'll leave a comment down below and letting you know how long my makeup lasts and kind of what it looks like throughout the day. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to like check back in, in video form, so I will leave it in comments down below. Be sure to keep an eye out for that. Um, but yeah, overall, I really like it. I'm actually kind of happy that it's a little more subtle just because I feel like I'll be able to get more use out of it. I'll probably use this palette more than I was originally expecting to, so I think that's pretty cool. And the highlights in them are bomb. I would highly recommend it. I feel like for those two colors alone, the palette is totally worth it. And then to get like a really summery, like all over natural glow, I think this is a great option overall and definitely worth the money. Let me know if you have tried the Coco Collection face palette or any of the new products in the newer secondly launched Coco collection. I would love to hear from you. And yeah, leave me a comment down below. Say hi. Let me know what you think and what your review of this would be or if you've tried it. And otherwise, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I hope you have an amazing day. Bye guys.